We have a promo that begins with Adam Cole and Red Dragon and the Young Bucks. And it gets very icy very quickly. As the Bucks note that Kyle has been there a week now, he has still not said hello to them. And so Kyle says hello to them, but admits it's very awkward being there with them because the Bucks and Red Dragon have, a th- have fought each other a thousand times. Kyle says he wants to talk to Adam in private. No Young Bucks there, no Bobby Fish there. So everyone else leaves. It's down to Cole and O'Reilly, who, of course, have been killing each other for the better part of 2021 on another show. And O'Reilly says, look, there's a lot of history between us. I know we have heat, but this is all elite wrestling. It's a new world. The key to surviving here is factions. And yes, that is the word he used. He knows that Bobby Fish has his back. I guess tonight, he says, I'll find out if you've got my back, too. I love that AEW does a better job following up with WWE yes. storylines than WWE does. Yes, they do. In Absolutely. what fucking universe? Well, I know the universe. The one I'm living in. They're tying up the knots. They're tying up the loose ends from when these guys were undisputed in NXT yep. together. Yep. They could just start all over again like it doesn't fucking matter, but... You know, no. they're they're acknowledging that they used to be partners. And if you're going to acknowledge that they used to be partners, then you, you have to acknowledge that when they were partners, they had broke up and had a horrible blood feud. Yes. And so now we're like the storyline here is is I mean, it's it's actually great because Adam Cole was with the elite. Then Red Dragon shows up. Red Dragon and Adam Cole are together. But the Young Bucks don't like Red Dragon, and, and Red Dragon versa. don't like the Young Bucks. No, sir. And so that's the whole story here. There's there's obviously some heat between Kyle and Adam Cole, and so, you know, the Young Bucks are, are capitalizing on that. Look at this fucking dummy here. And, you know, Adam Cole's been these guys' buddies for a long time, but they've, they're having problems now. So which way is he going to go? This is way better than what they did in NXT with these guys. <laughs> yes. And it's the same story. God help me. It's the same Is this story that hard? With the same people done a thousand times better. The answer, by the way, is no, it's not that hard as we're watching with our own two eyes. Main event of this show is Adam Cole and Red Dragon versus the Best Friends. So they had a very fun trios match main event. The key is late in the match, uh, Adam Cole's isolated. And they still, at some point, Orange Cassidy is going to w- get a win over Adam Cole, but today was not that day. But the babyface is like giving him a series of pile drivers he keeps kicking out, and they're set to finish him off when Kyle is there to make the save for, for Adam, and Red Dragon runs wild for a bit. But then, as they're running wild, Kyle accidentally boots Adam in the face off the apron. The Bucks intervene. They super kick somebody, and Red Dragon is chasing the dragon and wins. But even after the victory... As Red Dragon is celebrating in the ring, the Young Bucks are tending to Cole and taking him up the ramp. And Cole is very upset that in his very first match in AEW, Kyle O'Reilly has booted him in the face. Well, it's not only that, but uh, the Young Bucks the young bucks are pointing out to Adam Cole, Look, you're teaming with this dummy, and he booted your ass to the floor. And the only reason your team even won was because of us. Yes, you should be sticking with us, not also, this guy. Also true. Everything that they do is playing into this storyline. And the the who is friends the with who? fate of the undisputed is being booked far better here than it was in the other company. Yes. So there you go. As always, a fun show. So check it out. Yeah, that was a very good show. Excellent show. Again, maybe it's just that as a Canadian who has always had health insurance, this doesn't seem Max, smarten up. To this, be a big this deal. This is going to go to the best of right here, Lance. Yeah. You are being corralled away by uh, by this dog. By a dog trying to eat my wife's uh, boots. Oh, man. Oh, they said they must be tasty. Yeah, if my wife gets home and her good leather boots are chewed up, I'm dead. You'll be chewed up next. Yeah, I'll be living outside with the dog. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.